Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon, and we're gonna talk about Twitter. Uh, pretty soon on Twitter, you're not gonna be able to say anything. You're not gonna be able to say anything because people will be able to automatically block you and automatically mute you based on what you may possibly be saying. Uh, this is gonna be detected by their algorithm that if you're potentially problematic, your comments will be filtered out. They're already kind of sort of doing something like that, but it sounds like it's gonna get a lot more aggressive and we know what this is probably gonna mean, right? It means that brands and politicians and celebrities will uh, be able to give the appearance of not getting any criticism on social media. But you know, the flip side of it is that Twitter is a very toxic place to be. Uh, full of people with a lot of really bad takes and uh, people with uh, fake accounts trolling you. Uh, I mean, what are you going to do? I think this is Twitter trying to clean its act up or somehow to stay relevant and mostly uh, sell you, upsell you on Twitter Blue, which we'll talk a little bit about, about that too. Uh, come back to Twitter, guys. It's, it's all safe over here. It's very, very safe. <laughs> so we'll talk about it here on Clownfish TV. Please subscribe for more pop culture news views and rants. Guys, we're over 192,000 subs. Thank you so much for the support. Geeky is sitting this one out. Um, she is on Twitter. I don't know if she's going to be automatically blocked or muted. Uh, she does have some pretty strong opinions over there, but we'll, we'll see. So this is coming from The Verge, uh, courtesy of comicbook.com, talking about it too. Twitter is planning a feature to let you auto block and mute abusive accounts. What they're not saying is that it's potentially abusive accounts. Uh, now we know that there, there's a lot going on with block bots and blockchains and all that sort of thing, which I think is a bad policy because how they work is if an account follows another account or group of accounts that you don't like, you can automatically block them on Twitter using a third party app. And what happens is you catch people up in that net. A lot of times if they happen to follow somebody that you don't like, even if they gave them a follow years ago, uh, if they follow them currently, maybe they forgot they even follow this person or this account or whatever, uh, you get blocked. You get blocked, you know, and I understand people don't want to deal with harassment on Twitter. We've we've been harassed on Twitter, but this sounds to me like they're going to sanitize Twitter. So no dissenting opinions ever appear in your timeline. So then you can go running to the media and be like, look, guys, everybody's on board with this stupid, stupid idea or this stupid, stupid announcement. There's not a single negative comment <laughs> because we got rid of them all. Look at that. So easy. Just just uh, push a button, right? Uh, Twitter playing a feature to let you auto block and mute abusive accounts coming from The Verge. The company is also working on a new safety mode. So Twitter plans to introduce a way for you to automatically block and mute abusive accounts. The company announced at its analyst day presentation on Thursday. Yeah, they have a whole slide. A healthy Twitter is critical to growth. Well, you guys should have thought of that like four or five years ago before all the uh, uh, really dysfunctional people from Tumblr migrated to Twitter. It appears the feature will be a toggle you can turn on in a new safety mode according to a slide in the Analyst Day slide deck. Here's Twitter's description of how the toggle will work if you flip it on. Automatically block accounts that appear to appear automatically block accounts that appear to break the Twitter rules and mute accounts that might, might be using insults, name calling, strong language, or hateful remarks. So if you call somebody a poopy faced diaper head, you might get auto blocked from Twitter. Now there are some, some safeties right now on Twitter. Cause I've noticed like we'll get comments on posts and some of those Comments are hidden because they're like, this might be from a problematic account. Do you want to see it? Yes or no? Um, and that sounds like they're just going to filter these people out completely. So Twitter is going to become very, very sterile uh, in its last days. And I, I do believe Twitter might be in its last days. It, it lost relevance. Uh, and I think they're, they're doing this. They're trying to clean it up because Twitter has been, you know, known as as ground zero for cancel culture, for stand culture, uh, for a lot of uh, you know political 
shenanigans. Uh, you know, everybody looks at Twitter and they're like, why are you such a dumpster fire? Like, why is Twitter the worst social media platform? And this seems to be like they're they're trying to correct that, but censoring people even more so or, or accusing them of like pre-crime, right? Uh, I don't think that that's going to work very well for them. And, and a lot of the features that people have asked for, you're going to have to pay for them. We'll, we'll talk about Twitter blue here in a minute or two. Uh, with this new safety mode, Twitter will automatically detect accounts that might be acting abusive or spammy and limit how those accounts can engage with your content for seven days according to the slide. We've asked Twitter for more information on the new features and we'll update this article. Uh, Twitter has historically struggled with abuse on its platform and has released a number of features over the years to help reduce offensive content such as letting people hide replies and letting users control who can reply to a tweet. The company has some automated tools in place to remove abusive tweets and said in 2019 that it removes more than 50% of abusive tweets before users report them. There's a lot of crazy shit on Twitter. I'm like, man, this is the stuff that doesn't get filtered out. I've actually seen comments get filtered out on Twitter that are not in any way offensive. And I've seen some very, very offensive stuff stay up. So I think it just depends on whether or not that particular account has been identified as being an offensive, a potentially offensive account. Uh, somebody says, hey, this could be a game changer. It puts the onus on the abusers to obey the rules other than, than on the potential victims to respond after suffering abuse. That's the future with machine learning. It's like having a bespoke team of infinite moderators there needs to be proper channels to challenge them in case of unfair blocks, but still. I mean, I, I agree with the sentiment, you know, that it would be nice if you could filter out the shit bags before they have a chance to be shitty based on past behavior. But a lot of innocent people are going to get caught up in this. And this is actually going to drive more people away from, from Twitter, in my opinion. Uh, so they made the social media safe space from South Park into an actual feature. And that's wrong because, uh, well, if you don't want anyone to use it, that's fine. So I think they already know that they're going to lose some people on Twitter. They've been losing people on Twitter for quite some time. So now they got to make the remainder of the people on Twitter pay for it with Twitter Blue. Uh, this is coming from the official Twitter blog. Introducing Twitter Blue, Twitter's first ever subscription offering. We told you guys this was coming. It had been leaked uh, about three or four weeks ago. And people were like, they'd never charge for Twitter. Oh, yes, they will. Uh, every social media platform is going to have an upcharge. Uh, you know, it's just like drugs. You get for free for so long and then they have to start charging. We've heard from the people that use Twitter a lot, and we mean a lot, that we don't always build power features that meet their needs. Well, that's about to change. We took this feedback to heart and are developing and iterating upon a solution that will give the people who use Twitter the most of what they're looking for. Uh, free, free platform? No? No? You're not getting that? Okay. Access to exclusive features and perks that will take their experience on Twitter to the next level. And for those wondering, no, a free Twitter is not going away and never will. This subscription offering is simply meant to add enhanced and complementary features to the already existing Twitter experience for those who want it. Again, the people who use Twitter a lot, they mean a lot, are the people who want infinite features, right? And they want a safe space. They want it for free. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Meet Twitter Blue. Again, I thought this was like a, a porn thing. Uh, starting today, we'll be rolling out our first iteration of Twitter Blue in Australia and Canada. Our hope with this initial phase is to gain a deep, deeper understanding of what will make your Twitter experience more customized, more expressive, and generally speaking, more fire <laughs> and flame truth. Those who sign up for a Twitter Blue subscription will get a set of features and perks that include the following. Bookmark folders. Bookmark folders, undo tweet, typo, forgot to tag somebody, preview and revise your tweet before it goes live. With undo tweet, my God, where has this been? With undo tweet, you can set a customizable timer of up to 30 seconds and click undo before the tweet reply or thread you've sent post your timeline. Correct mistakes easily by previewing what your tweet will look like before the world can see it. This should be standard. 
there would be a lot less uh, problematic tweets, I think, if people had to think for 30 seconds before they replied. Reader mode provides a more beautiful reading experience by getting rid of the noise. We're making it easier for you to keep up with long threads on Twitter by turning them into easy to read text so you can read all the latest content seamlessly. Make it easier uh, to cancel someone because you can see it all in one place. Subscribers will get access to perks such as customizable app icons for their devices, home screen, and fun color themes for their Twitter app. And, and wait, there's more, but wait, you'll have access to dedicated subscription customer support. Oh my God, you actually get customer support at Twitter. This initial set of features was developed based on feedback we received from our very own Power Twitter community. They are trying so hard, so hard to get people to stay on Twitter. Between uh, opening up verification again, blue check verification again, uh, to trying to filter out problematic people, uh, to giving people features they've been asking for for years, but making them pay for it. This is crazy. As a Twitter Blue subscriber, you'll get these features and perks for the monthly price of $3.49. We'll be listening to feedback and building out even more features and perks for our subscribers over time. As always, we'll be keeping you updated as we progress right here. So be sure to check back in. So for those of you in Australia and Canada, get your tweet on and sign up for Twitter Blue. Oh boy, Australia and Canada. Why Australia and Canada? Oh yeah, because the US, they're gonna have a shit fit. They're absolutely going to have a shit fit if they roll these features out and make them pay. Uh, all the activists using the platform who think that they should get unlimited features uh, and the unlimited ability to ban people for free every month are going to freak out. You know what? I might actually subscribe to it uh, just because. Be like, fine, Twitter. Start listening to people who pay. Start listening to the people who pay. Capitalism, baby. Gonna wrap it up. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, and we'll talk later.